All right, we almost had a doozy. Okay, so here we got where we at. Have we got audio? Uh, so I've had to resort to this, right? Um, so you guys might see this um, and and like uh, take a look at it. Okay, so the Technus Corner YouTube is after your faulty PC to diagnose fault for free and advise best solution in and around Clayton 3168 area, fixing your PC for free. Uh, faulty PCs or computers in need of upgrading or have to work done on them. So I, I actually had to uh, make sure that this was not brought down as a business. Okay. I like, I, I was like specific in that. All right. So um, free PC diagnosis, fix and upgrades. Make sure to share and like. The Technus Corner YouTube is looking for faulty PCs or computers in need of upgrading to have work done on them free of charge, minus any material or parts costs if agreed to. This is done so that the channel, the Technus Corner, and its host, Sabluka, may have in turn the privilege of creating content for said channel. Complete anonymity can and could be upheld at all times. Only the PC would be showcased and diagnosing process, etc. video recorded. Diagnosis of faulty PC may lead to further work, and if parts needed, then it would be a cost not free, but labor for work would be free also. This also goes for anyone wanting to upgrade their PC. This offer is available for people who are willing to drop off their PC in and around the Clayton 3168 area in Melbourne. This is not a con, I, as I have a genuine passion for computers and IT and find it find if a healthy medium is upheld, both parties can be rewarded accordingly. Please don't hesitate to contact me for inquiries. While on the side note, unfortunately, not every PC can be fixed and correct diagnosis free of charge of faulty parts can at least arm yourself with the knowledge required to obtain said parts at the right price and or service at another establishment if chosen so without getting ripped off. So yeah, that's that. And uh, this is this is a Technus Corner uh, a YouTube uh, page. So here's uh, the YouTube page. Uh, I mean, the Facebook page, beg your mind. So I've also started a article. So on a side note to, so just to get to sum up guys. All right. So I've also started a uh, page where I've got articles per se. And um, so if we go to the bottom here, why is it taking so long? So there's one little fudge that's a problem over here. And that's this part here. Um, but apart from that, the Technus Corner News Network. Um, so, you know, you got Sebastian Lucas. Um, uh, and all things sort of send you back to the YouTube channel. Um, human superficiality is but a pinprick in an ocean that is vast and never ending. But one thing, my first uh, official article, because I was going to write an article on each video, I thought I'd get it up there. But um, Metaverse VR, Metaverse Quest to Experience for Technus Corner. Uh, wrote a Sebastian Lucas, and it's a nice comprehensive article I did on this, um, which is pretty cool. You guys should suss it out um, if you're ever interested. Um, I might link it in the description below, but yeah, and also um, our daily, daily um, stuff that you don't get to see on. This is why I want the community tab on the Technus Corner, um, because daily or daily, um, D A L L E 2, like some of the uh, collective um human and ai collective image that we're doing in a series where there's a lot of stuff available there uh, this stuff's pretty cool like it's just it's remade sections of an actual chip which is really insane see how it's different and so you know here's some really cool ones uh obviously like technus corner inspired sort of stuff but yeah worthwhile sussing out guys so uh, chuck that uh chuck that a like or a follow on on that side and you can get in contact with me rather easily yeah so speaking of what we're doing today we're going to be doing a um tech consult episode three so what we're going to have to do is uh put on to do the job now we're official tech consults we'll, we'll officially uh start it up uh so i'll go back over here so uh, welcome or welcome back to the Technus Corner. I'm your host, Seb Luca, and today we've got a Tech Consults episode three. So uh, come join us as we endeavor to have a look at this PC here and see what we are dealing with in relation to bringing back some life to her. We may not, this is a live stream currently, so by all means, uh, join in the action and you never know, you might be able to help me out um, in, in the troubleshooting phase. But at the same time, um, I'm going to do my best to interact with anyone considering it's live, but understand that this is a Tech Consults episode three uh, production, and it's just taking you guys on the ride um, in relation to it, um, where it's not always fun and games and just B-roll footage. 
Uh, yeah, so let's get into it, eh? We've got the system over there. Oh my God. Can you believe, I, I don't know if you guys saw it, um, on, on the video itself, I'll bring it up. I will bring it up, okay? This whole thing is covering it, okay? It's four screws, it doesn't dip in anywhere. It fell, it didn't break. Luckily, we're so lucky, guys. We've already had uh, the cooler subsequently removed, per se. Cooler's been removed, and we've got access to the four thumb screws there. So it's an interesting cooler. If we uh, bring it up to the camera over here, um, it's one of these sort of like, it's, it's, it's a borderline of 120 mil, and it's, it's got that real small connection point here. It's just circle, guys. Um, honestly, I'd spend a little more on the cooler if I had the luxury, if it was a much more heavier, heavier duty chip. But for the job, this cooler seems to do the job. But yeah, so essentially, we've got ourselves a system here which is a 1060 Rock Strix. And the chip, on the other hand, we've got a couple of chips. Um, the gentleman uh, originally put in, um, originally what he tried, so this this computer, essentially, the problem with it is it's just cycling on and off, and it won't go, go any further in on and off. Um, I've had many of these type of problems before, but it could be a power supply issue, it could be a couple other issues. Um, although he's had it, had this problem fixed with, uh, from my gather was a clear CMOS and a clear CMOS was performed by some technician. And since then he tried to change the chip to something stronger, which is to right now. He tried to change the chip to an i7-3770. Okay. From the i5-2400, which is what it was, right? Now, from, from to do this, he probably need a BIOS upgrade, but putting it back has not fixed the problem in relation to getting the chip to run effectively like it was before, like you get me? And the board, it's not. It's, it's just doing this, this problem that it was doing before. So it could be a power supply issue. It could be a graphics card concern. Um, I'm going to have to work out what exactly the problem is in relation to this PC. So we'll try clearing the CMOS again one more time. See yeah, that does the job now because we've removed the cpu cooler per se we're going to have to get a band um a temporary fix to a solution here so i'll probably say something like this which is um a really heavy duty old server thing i'll just press it down on that and connect up the fan that will do the job three two one and it's just off it's going up again I, it should be cycling through the memory now in actual fact if it's got a semblance of good measure so i don't know if you guys can see what's going on here it's essentially just cycling on and off um i just cleared the cmos though i reseated the ram um, there's no LED indicator, anything faulty occurring. We plug in um, the speaker here for it. It just got all help lever. So this is the diagnostic speaker, it's just going haywire. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. There's uh, no more, no more uh, training of the memory could occur um, by this part. Yeah, it just keeps on. Beeping is significant of a power supply failure. I'm going to have to have a look at the power supply. I'm going to have to dissect this PC. We're going to have to pull it out, essentially. From there, sort of work out whether this PC is is worth salvaging um, and whether it, in fact, does need a new power supply. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to gains, let my money 
show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to gains, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own So we've got the uh, the potential faulty GPU out as well. Everything else is connected. I'm just going to test if this motherboard and or CPU are not all fried because you could have fried the other CPU as well at the same time. Um, when doing this, because I know what he may have done if he had if he did do it. He says he didn't, so we'll take his word for it. Now you got the same problem. Same problem. Well, it's, it's still selected, suggestive of um, memory potentially being an issue, um, the memory modules being damaged. Now, I'm going to go to my DDR4, DDR3 memory I've got here, I believe, which is part of this board, and we'll give this eight gigabytes a go, which is a set, and we'll just see if everything is working for starters. Um, on it um, in relation to this, even though maybe one or two, and then we'll just work our way down uh, until we've got one at least working because I know this stuff works. Please see once again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put that back in.
yeah. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat, I don't know. My wrath, my blood boils over, like, oh god, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go, so just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So, have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things, realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me f***ed up, let me show you what's up. Enough is enough I'll take a face full of pavement Just to make a statement I know there's no turning back Oh God, adrenaline wasted So mad I can taste it I know there's no turning back I'll do what it takes I ain't making mistakes like that I'll put it on your face To make you go take it back I'll lose my shit And I go crazy when I'm mad Um, so essentially, in a nutshell, I'm just going to say right now, I have to call it that it's unfortunately a faulty motherboard, potentially the RAM's faulty in his uh, setup as well. But unfortunately, the motherboard currently is not beeping out an error. I'm going to try a few more things to see if I can make it beep out whatsoever an error, because what it's signaling uh, before was complete and utter with the with the ram that's completely faulty or and or bust just completely out of power failure um and signifying its psu issue i've got a 1200 watt uh silverstone psu supplementary psu testing for testing purposes both the power supplies uh, are working fine turns out um something with the motherboard's gone and yeah i've got my own ram in the machine now and subsequently it again is behaving differently but with that said it's is it cycling through and it's cycled through it hasn't cycled through so what we'll do i i hate saying it's bad news without being i'm 100 percent sure that it's the motherboard that's gone did it take the ram out with him i think it took the ram his ram out as well somewhat um i'm not 100 percent sure um regarding his ram but the motherboard is definitely uh dead on arrival to my domain. So peace out, y'all.